What's up guys, it's your boy, The Realized Man, checking in. And today I'm gonna to do a question and answer, answering one of my subscribers' questions. And it's dude what to want to you. He asks, can you make a video further explaining how to know whether or not someone is trustworthy? How do you spot who wants to see you fail? How to spot who generally wants to see you succeed? It's a damn good question, dude what to want to. And I'm going to tell you exactly right now. What you have to understand is this is a complicated subject because you're dealing, you're dealing with people and people are masters of masquerades, which means they are masters of masks. They have faces. People can often be enigmatic, mysterious. They can show you one personality or one side or one certain trait and completely not be congruent with it, completely believe in something else or have another personality when talking to someone else. So how can you know who is on your side and who's not on your side? Well, there is an age old saying that I'm going to repeat here and I'm sure you've heard it. It goes something like actions speak louder than words. What you have to understand is people can say all they want. People lie all the time. People can show their support to you all the time, but people cannot so easily hide their actions. They cannot so easily hide their body language. What they do speaks leagues ahead of what they say. So if someone says that they're supporting you, if someone tells you that they're on your side and yet you hear about them talking behind your back, gossiping to other people, that right there is an action that speaks louder than the words. Don't believe what they have to say to your face if you know for a fact that they're doing other things. If someone is talking to you and you're explaining to them your goals and your ambitions and they're looking to be uneasy, understand that it's because perhaps they don't want you to succeed. Another thing you have to understand, humans naturally don't like seeing other people succeed. And this is a raw fact. Most people don't like seeing other people succeed. Most people don't like their neighbors getting a new car. Most people don't like their friends getting better jobs. Most people don't like other kids doing well in class. The reason people don't like this isn't because people are evil. It's a very natural response because when someone is succeeding, it highlights the fact that they are doing better than you or that you are not doing the best that you could do. So it kind of puts you on the spot. It exposes people. People get very insecure about it. That's why they don't like seeing other people succeed. So a lot of people, especially when you're on this personal development journey, as I said, are not going to like you to succeed. They, they might tell you that they are happy for you or that they're supporting you, but they might be uneasy. You shouldn't worry about these people because that's just a natural response. The people you should worry about are people that are actively trying to see your demise. The people that are gossiping, the people that are trying to discourage you, that's trying to tell you to take an alternate path. These are the people you need to look out for. And these are the people that you need to cut out, cut out of your life. The average person is just going to be insecure, but don't worry about them. Don't focus on them. Focus on what you want to do. Now let's flip over to the other side of the question. He says, how do you spot people who generally want to see you succeed? Well, I'm going to give you a little story. And it also ties into this fact that actions speak louder than words. When I started this blog, when I started my articles and these videos, my, some of my friends knew about it. And a lot of them actually just laughed about it. A lot of them didn't see it as a realistic thing to do. But some of them actually supported it. Some of them actually shared my videos, shared my articles, read it and gave constructive criticism. They told me which sections of my work were good and which sections needed improvement. And they told me why I need improvement. The people that are negative that you need to cut out are people that just mock it without even reading it, without even watching or without even evaluating what you're doing. The people that just try and put you down because of their insecurities. These are the people you have to watch out. What are they doing? Are they actively telling people about how you, what you're doing is stupid or how about what you're doing is bad? These are the people you need to watch out for. Remember, all you need to do is look at people's actions and you understand a lot more about them. So if you can see them through that lens, you would definitely know where they stand in your life. So I hope that helps answer your question. Look at people's actions. It's simple advice, but it's practical advice. Anyway, if you guys have any more questions, 
leave a comment or send me an email. Emails down in the description. Peace. I'm gonna show you how to be part of the notification gang. It's real simple. Click subscribe and then you click on this little bell here. Boom, bang, boom. That's it. And you get notifications as soon as the videos are up. Peace. Do it! Just do it!